Today we have a little bit of a different video on my channel. Today will be the five biggest questions after The Force Awakens. Now this is the brand new Star Wars movie. If you haven't heard of it, you've been living under a rock. So let's start off with question number one. Who are Rey's parents? Rey is a new hero of Star Wars, and from the beginning of the movie we can already tell by her actions that she's been living on her own for quite a while. She was a scavenger on the home planet of Jakku, aka the junk guard from the battles between the New Republic and the Galactic Empire. She was like that until she befriended new heroes Finn, who is a stormtrooper, and a droid, BB-8, and he holds the map to find the lost Jedi Knight, Luke Skywalker. That's why the First Order is looking for BB-8, and she also meets our classic heroes Han Solo and Chewbacca. Rey and BB-8 and Finn escape on the Millennium Falcon, and that's when they meet Han Solo and Chewbacca. And they soon go to Maz Kanta... Kan... Atas? Kantas? I don't know, but here it is on screen. They go to her castle on the planet of Takadoa. You'll see it on screen if I pronounce it wrong. At the castle, Rey was called by the Force to a lightsaber once owned by Anakin and Luke Skywalker. The classic chest that holds the training ball and the blue lightsaber. So, this leads people to believe that she is the daughter of Luke Skywalker. When she touches the lightsaber, she has visions of Luke. Although she is drawn to the lightsaber in the final scenes of the movie, she hugs Leia, even though they've never met before. It was a very maternal hug, leading to another theory that Kylo Ren, the, um, the new sort of Darth Vader, and Rey are possibly siblings. Since Leia and Han haven't been talking for quite a while, this could be the reason why Han didn't recognize her when they first met. So that's my theory. Okay, so the second question that I came across after seeing The Force Awakens was did Han Solo know he was going to die after Kylo Ren and him were talking on board this weird sort of uh, bridge-like thing? So... As I said before, Hans, uh, Kylo Ren is the son of Leia and Han Solo. He was trained by Luke Skywalker, and he turned to the dark side, leading Luke Skywalker into exile, and he's a final Jedi Knight. So that's why everyone's obsessing about getting BB-8 and getting the map. But uh, towards the end, when, they're, when the First Order is um, charging their sun-powered gun that would shoot the base of the resistance, Han Solo sees his son and he approaches him and they have this little conversation leading people to believe that at one point Kylo Ren was highly considering going to the resistance and stopping everything. But once the sun went down, he changed, he lit up his tri-saber, his tri-lightsaber and killed his father. But as Han Solo was falling, he put his hand on his son's face and he fell to his death. It was heartbreaking, but I personally think Han Solo loved his son so much that he would do anything and even help him with the dark side. So I think he did know he was going to die. Let me know your opinions in the comments down below. Is Finn a Jedi Knight? And that's our third question, and I know this sounds a little far-fetched, but hear me out. Somehow, this brainwashed First Order Stormtrooper wanted to go to the Resistance. Now, no other Stormtrooper has done this before in the Expanded Universe, in Star Wars. This led me to believe he had some sort of the Force in him when he was holding the lightsaber, when he was fighting after Rey got hit by the tree by Kylo Ren. And it just leads me to believe that he will somehow be a Jedi Knight in the future. And a quick Easter egg... FN-2187 was Finn's stormtrooper name, and he served under Captain Phasma, which we'll get to later. But that was Leia's cell number in A New Hope. So, he helped Poe Dameron, which is going to be a key character later in the game, I believe, because he really wasn't in that much, but he served an important purpose because he helped Finn. Not really helped, but he was the reason why Finn went to the Resistance. So... I think he has the Force within him, and I think he can possibly be a trained Jedi Knight. And I think they need all the Jedi Knights they can get, considering there's only one left in the world. Well, one and a half, you include Rey. So that's my third question. If you guys agree with this, tell me down below, and let me know just what you guys think. Number four. 
Where was Captain Phasma the whole movie? All right, so Captain Phasma had a sick armor, uh, uniform, whatever you want to call it. And some people think that she was dead because Finn said, or Han Solo said, rather, that uh, if there's a trash shoot, they'll put Phasma in there. But honestly, I don't believe it because I think she's sort of like a Boba Fett kind of uh, figure because she kinda, she's the leader. You know, she's kind of like on her own in a sense. She's the leader. But I think she's going to have a greater um, role in episodes 8 and 9 and possibly some spinoffs as well. And because that... That uniform was probably a couple thousand dollars, and it probably wasn't made from nothing. And she did help Finn and Han Solo uh, activate some computers and all that stuff, so I do think she'll have a more important role. But I think in this movie, she should have a little bit more important role, possibly a higher ranking, because that uniform was awesome. Number five. When did Kylo Ren want to become part of the First Order? Now, I know it's probably similar to Anakin's story, but he had Luke Skywalker, possibly the greatest Jedi of all time, training him. What went wrong and what made him want to go to the dark side or the First Order? Because it really doesn't make much sense. It's kind of just like thrown out in the plot line. But I really want to know more. And if you guys have an expanded universe a comic book or something that explains this, let me know in the comments down below. Because I'm kind of just starting to get into the expanded universe as well. Anyway, Kylo Ren, they're kind of repeating Anakin's story, but I want to know if maybe Snoke convinced him or maybe someone else convinced him to go to the First Order because of his Skywalker power. I'm not sure. If you know, hit me up in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Alright guys, so that concludes my first ever Star Wars movie uh, theory review kind of thing. If you want more like movie type videos like this, let me know. Maybe I'll make another channel or something like that. I'm not really sure because these videos are a lot of fun to make. Thank you guys so much for checking me out. If you like these kind of videos, as I said before, hit that like button. Tell me in the comments below your opinions, theories on The Force Awakens. And I'm sorry if you didn't know the spoiler. I'll already put it in the description. So, anyway, go check out The Force Awakens. a great movie. And if you want a full movie review, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you all in the next video.